So guys, hey, uh, BBC seems to have finally caught up with the Donald Trump and China. And it's, I find it quite fucking hilarious and I hope you enjoy the video. So they're going to finally talk about the Donald Trump uh, not liking China. And you kind of wonder if the BBC works with China because it's funny what this guy ends up saying, right? It's funny. He says exactly what the Chinese ambassador said. Uh, the British Chinese ambassador said to uh, uh, Hardline Talk, you know, the one that's on during the midnight, during the BBC. Yeah. Let's see how cringy this could get. Let's go. Earlier this year, President Trump praised China's handling of the pandemic, congratulating President Xi on a number of occasions. That's all changed. In recent weeks, Mr. Trump has accused the Chinese government of failing to deal with the spread of the virus and of organizing a cover-up. The result is open hostility between the two countries. Let's join our North American... Oh no! Oh no! They've fucking done it again! They've, they've failed behind six weeks of fucking news coverage after this scaremongering! Holy shit! How is it fucking impossible? Because they finally listened to the Chinese ambassador and they finally didn't figure out it could have came from China. No, it could have done anything else, but it's all right. Orange man bad. Nay fucking problem at her. Orange man bad. It is fucking terrible. Let's go and check the boot in the Yankland. Yeah, editor. John Sobel. China may be on the other side of the coronavirus crisis, but America is still feet in the mire. And a leaked government report suggests that the death toll, far from plateauing, could go a lot higher. But with each rise in the numbers of people who've died, Donald Trump is keener to shift the blame from him to China. Who does he think caused the virus like? Well, was it the Mexicans? Was it the, the was it the Russians? Oh wait, we can't rush, but blame Russian bots this time because they don't fucking exist, don't they? BBC. Oh, uh, uh, I'm, I'm getting there. Hold on, I'm getting there. I'm, there's a goodie coming up. What happened in Wuhan didn't stay in Wuhan. A coronavirus which has affected billions, infected millions, and killed hundreds of thousands is claiming a new casualty. US-China relations. On the American... No shit! By world relations, they fucking China, you dumb fuck! ...side, there's growing fury about China's secretiveness and, for the moment, an unsubstantiated charge that this didn't originate in a wet market in the city, but in a government laboratory. No shit! This has been out for fucking weeks! Fucking weeks! We all knew this! Sky News in fucking Australia did this fucking weeks ago! Catch up, man! For fuck's sake! They were supported with this fucking weeks ago! And pretty much they all back them up because every time they mention it to the Chinese government, they fucking deny it! My phone's going off. They deny it every fucking time! Wow! We're getting there though! The, 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 bit, the bit, good bit's coming up! These are not the first times that we've had a world exposed. Oh no! No, no, no! We got the ABC! Oh no! We got the reliable source! Got the ABC network! Oh shit! Oh fuck no! Oh no! We got a reliable source! Like anyone else but the AB fucking C! And you got this guy? This guy? Fuck off! His lab. And so while uh, the Intelligence Committee continues to do its work, they should continue to do that and verify so that we are certain. I can tell you that there is a significant amount of evidence that this came from that laboratory in Wuhan. The words from America's top diplomats seem designed to cause maximum offense to the Chinese. The president last night said they'd bring forward evidence at the right time. And my opinion is they made a mistake. They tried to cover it. They tried to put it out. It's like a fire. You know, it's really like trying to put out a fire. Against the backdrop of the Lincoln Memorial, Donald Trump again raised the potential death toll in... I mean, when you talk about social distancing, it's not like the reporters are doing anything about it. 
I mean, look how fucking close she is to him. And look how close they are from them to whoever the other people were over there. They don't give a fucking shit. And the fact that he's a Tsai Lincoln Memorial and he's not got a shot yet, what the fucking surprise. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, oh, shift the blame to China? Who the fuck do you think did it? Was it the fucking Icelanders? I mean, they've got a shop, but that's as far as they're going to get. Can you know what I mean? Fucking hell. US to as many as 100,000. But each time he does that, so it brings fresh scrutiny of his own erratic handling of the crisis. With an election six months away. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. You, you, you can't blame this guy on the status of every country. You cannot blame them for him for that. Like, I saw every state. You can't blame him for that. Because as much as the people in the United States want to open their things, the whole reason this guy stopped the immigration, the whole reason he said, right, we're going to give the states the control, was to give the states the control. Because, if you forget, America is a republic, despite what everyone hears it. It's not a tyrant, it's not dictatorship, it's nothing like that. That's not, that's not the USSR or China or the CCP. That's not America. Every state is allowed to be controlled of it itself. So whatever it wants to fucking do, does it itself. And NYC, which is what they keep showing all the time with ambulances, is the worst hit zone in America because every single Democrat told them it was okay. There's evidence of Nancy Pelosi, I said again, saying it's okay to celebrate New Year's, Chinese New Year, and, you know, the fucking Chinese, you know, Chinatown in New York. And what happens a month later? Or within a few weeks later, complete lockdown, coronavirus kills nearly a million people, or ha well, half a million people, half of a million. Fuck off. Stop being your shit. Having someone else to blame, the Chinese, the World Health Organization, has become politically essential. Well, it's because they both were literally caught denying that they had any involvement. Because if you don't realise, the guy who's in charge of WHO and most of the people there have been calling out like countries like Taiwan, which was calling out the virus way before this even fucking happened, they were calling them racist against Chinese people. There's articles like that in the papers. Just look the fucking things up. They exist. This was done weeks ago. Fucking hell, you haven't talked... This was the first thing you've talked about that's actually maybe a little bit important within fucking weeks. Like a week or so? Fucking stupid bastards, honestly. Who pays the BBC? Oh, yeah, us. But this is about much more than electoral politics. There is growing unease in the White House that China has become way too powerful on multilateral bodies like the World Health Organization and World Bank, and that America needs to reassert itself. The coronavirus pandemic is becoming a defining, and some would say deeply unsettling moment in the relationship between the world's two economic superpowers. Last week, stock market... Well, that might be because every single, well, China seems to be quite popular these days and adding itself to each economy. Because it's actually doing a little thing which Anomalous pointed out, which I should have really noticed this before, but I don't pay attention to Chinese politics. But they seem to be giving up these massive projects to every single country around the world, and then they leave... If the debt of that bill that China gives to them for some sort of project doesn't get paid back, they have to owe them some sort of service. It's called a deport sort of thing. I can't remember what it's called. A deport debt topic? I don't know, something like that. But China is making itself the top of the world stage because it's cheaper to build stuff in China, it's cheaper to do stuff over there, it's cheaper to get the steel there, they're getting themselves involved in everything we fucking had, British steel, 
is in British Steel. It's owned by China. That's bad. We don't even own our own steel. That is really bad. And well, you can you can just demonstrate like everything. Look at the face masks that are coming into the UK right now. They're made from China. We import them from fucking China. You look at the boxes for the gloves that they import. They're from China. Look at your clothing. Some of them are from China. Your Apple products are from China. Your cameras and technology. Most of them, I bet, is from China. We need to get back our economy. Not this shit. And here's a stock exchange. Markets fell sharply on the threat by Donald Trump to take unspecified retaliatory action against the Chinese. But China is giving as good as it gets. We discovered a new virus. This cartoon lampooning the Americans was posted by the Xinhua News Agency in English. The virus is killing doctors. It isn't going well. It's airborne. It'll magically go away in April. The deterioration in... Well, that's just a dick. That's just a dick move. If you're going to be a little playful with Lego toys, though, that's fine, we'll bring fucking guns. And I bet they'll bring guns too. Relations has been rapid. This was Donald Trump in the early stages of the outbreak. It's President Xi loves the people of China. He okay, so you're going to use the Chinese ambassador's words now, are you? Okay. Because this was before we got told all the news about the... Doctors being murdered, the fact this this could have been out since before October, you know, like 50 things that could have, that was changed between when he said this, and now, there's lots of things that have changed. Why the fuck do people still listen to stuff three weeks ago? The things change every fucking day. Oh my god, I don't know if this is dumb or just really patronising to the CCP. Fucking hell. This country and he's doing a, a very... That was April 2017 when they actually met. This was before all this shit happened and I bet that little smug face of his fucking came this was gonna happen. I fucking bet. I fucking bet. Great friend President Xi about their wonderful relationship. You don't hear much about that now. No, because funny enough after that they had North Korea to deal with and then they had a bunch of Democrats trying to like this guy out of fucking office. But it's all right, this guy keep on the, the other side, he shuts you up anyway because his country had to deal with the fucking Hong Kong situation, didn't they? They were both busy. Stop fucking going at them. John Sokol, BBC News, Washington. Oh, well, that was it. Okay, well, it's, uh, it's... It's just fucking unreal, isn't it? I mean, I really don't get it. I never do. I thought it would be a nice good off to see, because I, as soon as I saw ABC News, I had to see a reliable news source. I mean, you should watch the, like, nearly every news outlet, every YouTube channel, which was, you know, for politics watched, not government paintings. Oscar oh, Sky News, Australia. Yeah, that, that'll count. But, fuck knows. But it's really funny to see how they decide to cover things up and make him look bad. Basic BBC, guys. It's just the normal BBC doing the normal shit. Every fucking time. Not for long, though. Not for long. We're coming for you. Don't worry. It's gonna hit hard. Don't worry. 